नमस्कार दोस्तों स्वागत है आपका हमारे इस YouTube चैनल नॉलेज अडार में तो दोस्तों मैं हूं विवेक और आज के वीडियो में मैं आपको बताऊंगा एक हम जॉब नोटिफिकेशन के साथ आए हुए हैं तो दोस्तों चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए और दिए हुए बेल आइकन पर क्लिक कर दीजिए ताकि ऐसे वीडियो जॉब नोटिफिकेशन स्कॉलरशिप नोटिफिकेशन पार्ट टाइम जॉब फुल टाइम जॉब जो भी ऐसे वीडियो हो सबसे पहले आप तक पहुंच पाए दोस्तों सो बेसिकली बता दूं कि मैं हूं एक और यहां पे मैं एजुकेशनल वीडियोस बनाता हूं और जनरली में जो वीडियो जाते हैं वो इवनिंग में आते हैं छः से लेकर आठ बजे के बीच में आते हैं आपको यहाँ पे बता देता हूँ कि डेमो वीडियो जो है वो कैसा होना चाहिए ठीक है तो चलिए डेमो वीडियो में आपको यहाँ पे दिखा देता हूँ डेमो वीडियो कैसे आपका होना चाहिए ध्यान रखिए डेमो वीडियो जो आप अपलोड करेंगे सेकेंड स्टेप में जो आपको मिल आता है गूगल फॉर्म का ठीक है तो डेमो वीडियो देखिए आप चाहे तो स्क्रीन रिकॉर्ड करके भी पढ़ा सकते हैं लेकिन आपका फेस दिखना चाहिए और नहीं तो व्हाइट बोर्ड यूज करके कर सकते हैं जैसे कि मैंने व्हाइट बोर्ड यूज किया था तो उसमें मैंने वहां पर बताया था तो चलिए आप मेरा वीडियो देख लीजिए ध्यान रखिए वीडियो में आप मेंशन जरूर कीजिएगा एग्जांपल और जो भी एग्जांपल मेंशन करेंगे वो रियल लाइफ से जुड़ा हो ये ज्यादा मैटर करेगा और ध्यान रखिए कैमरा फेस करना होना चाहिए मतलब कैमरा का फियर नहीं होना चाहिए अच्छे से दिखना चाहिए वीडियो आपका विजिबल होना चाहिए आप विजिबल होना चाहिए आप जो बता रहे हैं वो भी विजिबल होना चाहिए तो चलिए आपको मैं दिखाता हूँ अपना डेमो वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स सो टूडे आई हैव टू टीच यू द बेसिकली द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एटम सो टूडे टॉपिक इज द बेसिकली द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम सो Uh, before going to the structure of atom, you have studied already the atoms and molecules. So you have very known that the basically what is the atom and what is the molecule. So I have to recall you. Okay. So suppose the atom. So basically, atom. If we compare the atom and matter with the real life example, suppose we have to compare the matter with the real life example. You can say that this is the room. So every room having the wall. Okay. Uh, every wall having the bricks. Suppose this is the wall of the room, okay, and this one is the basically bricks, okay. You can say this one all bricks. So we have to compare with the same case in the atom. So atom here is the building block, building block, building block of matter. Same case you can say here the brick is the building block of room, or brick brick is the building block of wall. So. Here now you have known very known that the, the basically what is the atom? So atom is the building block of matter. Now the question arises: the what is the atom and what is the structure of the atom and the every element having the atom? So basically here such that every element has the different every different element have the different atoms. So now how they are behave and how they are different from each other? Suppose the atoms of the element are different from each other. How and the basically we have to know the some is there is atom a really indivisible or divisible we have to know in this chapter so now in previous chapter you have already known that the basically what are the postulates of the john dalton atomic theory so basically john dalton proposed that atoms are indivisible john dalton proposed that atoms are indivisible means atoms cannot be divided further so basically atom is the smallest unit of matter but after some time in 19th century it was disproved by j j thomson j j thomson okay so j j thomson it was disproved by the atoms are not individual it is basically divisible so atoms can be divided into some atomic particles but the here question arise so we have to know the basically what is the proton what is the neutron what is the electron how proton neutrons and electrons were discovered okay so first come to the proton So basically, after John Dalton, there was the scientist J J Thomson. After John Dalton proposed a the timeline, there was a the scientist J J Thomson who proposed that who proposed that basically he gave the structure of the atom, that is the model of the atom. So what was the model? So basically, model was the just like the Christmas pudding, just like the Christmas pudding. You can say that in real life example, basically water melon. Suppose this is the water melon. So Thomson compared the structure of the atom with the watermelon. Watermelon having the seeds inside the atom, there is the electron. So compare the seeds with the electrons. So J J Thomson compared the seeds with electrons in watermelon. There were seeds inside the watermelon. So same case in J J Thomson's model of the atom, electrons are embedded in this sphere, and this sphere was the basically positive sphere. Okay, so this was the model of proposed by J J Thomson. 
he also told that he also proposed that this is the electron having the mass and this is the proton basically he did not uh, give the give the name of the proton but he told that this is the basically positive so this is the positive this is the electron having the same magnitude okay having the charge same i think you know that the basically charge on electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb and charge on the proton is the 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb but here is the positive and here is the negative but now in the ninth class you don't know the basically what is the coulomb so it further discovered with the coulomb and what, what is the charge on this one okay so now we have to come the so what was the final experiment and final statement a uh, final result of the jz thomson model so jz thomson model final result was the electrons are embedded in the atom and the atom having the positive sphere okay this was a sphere and this was a positive so positive and electrons okay so basically cancel each other so basically this atom is neutral he proposed that the here atom is the neutral but really this was but really this is happens is this really the structure of atom we know uh, today nowadays actually this is not the actual structure of the atom we know nowadays okay so basically what is the structure of atom so we have to know one by one the experiment given by the our scientists in ancient times okay so this was the jz thomson model so jz thomson disproved that the atoms are not individual basically they are the divisible can be divided into a smaller particles electrons and the protons okay okay now we have to come to the after the jj thomson model so after jj thomson model after jj thomson there was a scientist whose name is ernest rutherford proved that the basically electrons are not embedded in the structure of atoms how did he disprove we have to know okay so ernest rutherford basically uh, took a basically gold file why he took a gold file because we have to know the gold foil that a why he has taken the gold foil okay so you know that the gold is the ductile and the malleable so gold has the high ye high ductility and the high malleability property so for this purpose he has to he had to take a uh, basically the gold having the thin wire so only the here the metal possible which cannot be drawn into the very thin wires that was the gold that's why he took the gold foil for this experiment not any other metals okay so he took a gold foil okay that was the basically 1000 times you can say the 10 to the power 3 times is the atom size okay which so the thickness of the gold foil was basically 10 to the power minus 7 how this is the come from so basically you know the 10 to the power minus 10 meter is the basically is the size of the atom okay. to ye tha mera demo video jo ki maine aapka aur mera yahan pe selection ho chuka tha maine aapko mail bhi apna dikhaya hai ki shortlist mein ho chuka hu theek hai ho chuka tha to ye tha to aise karke aap dekhiye yahan pe apply kar sakte hain details to so, jaiye jaldi isko apply kijiye agar kuch problem aata hai to comment box mein jaiye comment kijiye aur main aapko reply zarur dunga और मेरे इंस्टाग्राम पे मेरे इंस्टाग्राम आईडी आपको यहाँ पे स्क्रीन पे दिख रहा होगा जो बेसिकली है क्या नॉलेज अडर वन आप जाके यहाँ पे मेरे को फॉलो कर सकते हैं और एक मैसेज कर सकते हैं मेरे साथ और मेरे साथ जो है आप बात कर सकते हैं तो दोस्तों दिस इज बी एक्सिन साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक यू विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट